Atari and we back with another video okay and I am excited for this one I'm super excited for this one a project that I myself and a number of people have been waiting for this is unapologetically Jason's and then it was me EP okay um, Jason has been working very hard on this project and I know that a lot of people were pleased with it. I've been hearing some good things about it and now it's time for me to tell y'all my honest opinions about it. I have a lot of good things to say, I have a few criticisms. You know, let's get right into the nitty gritty. I'm gonna be judging this, I don't wanna say judging, I'm gonna be critiquing this um, based on a few factors. The songwriting, the production, the replay value, and of course, the overall artistry. I'll explain that last one as I talk about it. But let's start off with the production, okay? First things first, I have to say that I'm thoroughly impressed with the production. Um, the production sounds like it's made leaps and bounds from the last project that Jason has released. Um, I personally find that Jason has found his niche. I find that Jason has of course found his comfort zone. He knows what sound he is going for. He knows what he likes to hear. He knows what he likes to perform on. And that much is apparent on this EP. Um, Jason very much so is open about his influences. He takes a lot of influences from you know classic R&B as well as other genres of music but I think I see a lot more of this classic slash modern R&B mixture within his production which I think is really nice um, it's this really nice creative medium between trying to recreate that feeling of nostalgia that came with you know sounds like Brian McKnight sounds like boys to men sounds like all these other artists in that genre but also mixing it together in a way that sounds more modern um, by mixing in you know uh, for the sake for the sake of the conversation names like um, pretty much or third story voices like uh, Aaron Ray all these types of different influences um, I see I have seen through the process and I see it in his music which I think is a good thing however my only criticism to her for the production of this e this EP slash project is I wish it was a little bit more diverse um, there's one common I don't even want to say theme I just want to say feel slash tempo throughout the entire project and that's not a negative thing by any means at all um, I personally do like to hear more diversity in a project. I like to hear a project that sounds cohesive, but at the same time ventures out into multiple different directions. Um, I think the best example of this is Jason going from singing to rapping, which nobody actually really knew about or thought about, thought he could do, at least from what I've heard. Um, the response to Jason... Um, the response to Jason rapping has been overwhelmingly positive. People are impressed. People want to hear more of it. Uh, so I, I, I really like that little bit of um, contrast right there, showing that he can do multiple things. The thing I want to mention about the production of this project that I that you know I appreciate, but I felt like I personally could have done without was the fact that there were three additional tracks, or maybe it was four. Three additional tracks attached to this project that were solely instrumentals. While I do like those for showing off his production, for showing off what he can do, for showing off what he's been working on, where he might be going stylistically, um, I personally just felt like it was a little bit unnecessary. I personally felt like it was just a little bit too much. Um, I genuinely and honestly did like the beats. I thought they were nice. Um, I thought they progressed very nicely. They were definitely things I could see Jason uh, doing something with in the future. I just personally think it might have been better to keep those tracks a little bit of a secret until you got to that future. All right, I just said a lot. Go ahead, take that how you will. I am not a professional music critic. I am not a professional artist by any means. I love music and I listen to music a lot. So this is just things that I was thinking. All right. 
moving on from production into the songwriting i really think the songwriting um was strong do i think that it could use some improvements yes but that's not necessarily you know because they're lacking or because you know they're not good or anything but just i feel jason can dig deeper i feel jason can truly write something that can bring you to tears being having been a part of his creation process having seen him from the outside having seen him from the inside having all these different perspectives i there's just a lot that i personally would have liked to see would have liked to seen in this project as far as songwriting goes jason when it comes to writing his music is heartfelt jason is um, incredibly intentional he's incredibly deliberate in the words he chooses i feel like that didn't come across as well as it could have that the lyrics showcase where jason was where his head was at where his heart was at i think that the songs encapsulate what jason has been going through accurately and um you know with as much detail as he could possibly put in there without either oversharing or muddling up the wa uh, muddling up the the song however however i know jason I know what his songwriting is like. I know that he can be intentional. He can be deliberate. He can be precise. He can be detailed. He can invoke so much emotion with his songwriting. I really would have liked to see a little bit more of that. I really would have enjoyed seeing Jason just dig up just a little bit deeper for those details. Dig just a little bit deeper to bring the emotion out of somebody else. Um, well, because of my relationship with Jason, I am able to somewhat relate. I am able to somewhat empathize and put myself in a position where I can say, yo, this was incredibly tough for Jason. Um, I definitely just would have liked to see Jason deliver this as if nobody were watching, as if nobody knew him, as if there was nobody on earth he could go to to have them relate to what he's going through. Um, personally, like I said, I don't think any of the songs are bad. I don't think any of the songwriting is bad. I think he could have delivered a little bit more, but I also just, I, I can appreciate good music. And I definitely feel as though Jason delivered to us some good music. Um, that's not to say that the songwriting was bad by any means. Like I said, I just would have liked to see a little bit more. Um, for example, in Feeling Late, um, I enjoy this chorus. I enjoy the melodic and the, 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 the vibe of the song. However, the Feeling Late, how I'm telling me how I'm feeling, babe, telling how I'm feeling late, that repeated line, at least in my opinion, did not take the song as far as it could have gone. Um, it's a great song. I would definitely listen to it again. As a matter of fact, I have been listening to all of these songs quite a bit lately. But I personally would have liked to see Jason stretch himself just a little bit more. Um, however, as we move into the track after that, which is where Jason showcases his rapping ability, is called Right Here. I honestly believe that um, when it comes to writing, Jason showed just how uh, diverse, how moving he can be, how, how, how crazy and out there he can be. I believe that Jason going from singing to rapping and to rapping the subject matter about which he does, I believe it, I, I, I believe it's something that not a lot of people have admired enough of. To go from singing heartfelt songs, to go from singing all the about, you know, your emotions, insecurities, whatever, whatever, other and such. I truly believe that, um, truly believe that Jason made the right choice, including this song on the project. Okay, let's move on to the songwriting of this album. 
I think Jason did a good job songwriting on this, I think. Moving on to the overall composition of the album, I like the way the songs are ordered. I like the way that each song is written. I like the way each song builds and dies down. However, my major complaint is that all of the songs feel short. Um, when I listen to music, I personally am listening for a song that makes me want to hit repeat or a song that makes me want to just feel like the song is going forever. There are times when I have gotten lost in a song and when it's over, I'm like, what? The song is over? No, we gotta go back. I wasn't done with that. Um, I felt like these songs, they didn't over deliver, but in terms of length, maybe just under delivered. Um, I don't know, maybe stretching a hook out, adding in some runs or something, uh, adding another verse when needed or if, or if necessary and if possible. Um, I am not an artist, like I said, so who am I to judge the process of what one calls a finished song? This is just my opinion. I overall think Jason did a very good job, but like those things I mentioned, I feel like, you know, a little tidy up here, a little little period there might have been, might have accentuated the album in all the places that it needed to be. But overall, I definitely think that Jason composed this project well from top to bottom, from song to song. The only, oh, one more criticism, like I mentioned in the last section, is the two beats at the end. I'm not saying they were bad by any means. I'm not saying that I hated them or that I just felt like they were a little out of place. We kind of get this, you know, conclusion bringing song in Reckless, um, but then it keeps going on and on. So it doesn't feel like this, the album itself is finished. It feels like this is just the beginning. And if you are trying to deliver a finished feeling project, you kind of just a little bit came short, fell short. But once again, like I said, these are just my opinions. Um, Overall, the artistry in this album, I like it. I like it a lot. I think Jason showed us who he was as a producer and an artist. I can't wait to see what Jason brings next with his artistry. I can't wait to see whatever, what else Jason is going to show us with his artistry. I can't wait till we truly get a glimpse of what's going on in Jason's head and in his heart as far as the songwriting goes. I can't wait until Jason um, shows us what it truly means for him to have developed his own sound um, and I, I, I'm excited for the progress to come. I think that this has come a long way from the beginning. Um, the beginning, his first project, um, four song EP. I liked each song individually. I felt like they were just thrown together in a compilation. But this, it actually feels like you tried to put together a cohesive project. Um, and so I can appreciate the progress there. Uh, like I said, I'm just looking forward to the what's, the, what the next step is and what's coming next. Personally, overall, I find this EP minus the two minus the two instrumental tracks. I find this EP to be very, very um, to be very, very replayable. The replay value in this for me is high. This is music that I would listen to when I'm sitting down um, trying to focus on something. When you know I'm cruising down the road, I would bump this. Um, I, I think that Jason has done a good job at delivering a project that people want to hear again and again, especially in what I would like to call the Jason shortage, where he likes to hoard music and, uh, you know, keep it for himself. But, but, but first steps, and I like that, I like where we are. And then it was me, a project by Unapologetically Jason, Honestly, I would give this project a light, a, a heavy seven, light eight on this, to be honest. I know for a fact this isn't the best he can do. I know we put a lot into it, 
but I know this isn't the best he can do and so I'm honestly just waiting to see what that's going to look like. I think Jason, like I keep repeating, has done good with this project. I think he delivered something that people wanted and I'm I, I hope he's very happy with the finished product. I hope that he believes in the project as much as everybody listening to it does. But just know that we are waiting for what's next, Jay. We are we are excited to see what the next step is. Um, so yeah, that's that's really all I have to say about the unapologetically Jason project called And Then It Was Me. I would love for y'all to go show him some support. Go stream the album. Uh, go listen to it on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, all that. It is available now. And um Please, please, please reach out to Jason. Let him know that you appreciate his work. Let him know that you appreciate what he's doing. Let him know that he's doing a good job and he is progressing. Let him know that you can't wait for more of his music. Um, I think it's very important for artists just as much as they hear the word no or I don't like that. I think it's just as important for him, for them to hear how much something is appreciated. So please do that for him. Um, I apologize if this seemed a little choppy, if this seemed just a little bit um, not not complete. Uh, I really just wanted to give my full thoughts on this project. I really wanted to show or tell y'all how I felt about this project through and through. Um, and so that's what I did. Uh, drop down to the comments. Let me know what y'all think about Unapologetically Jason's new project. Let me know how y'all feel about what he's doing, his sound, his production, any of that. And of course, of course, thank y'all for the support. I appreciate y'all more than anything. Let's have a good week. Let's have a good rest of 2020. And uh, here's to new music. Thank you for watching. I'm out.